This is a video about R Studio Cloud. So far we've talked about R, which is the programming language that we're writing code in, and R Studio, which is an integrated development environment designed to make it easier to write and run R code. R Studio Cloud is just an online version of R Studio that can be run in the browser. And we can get there by going to rstudio.cloud in the browser. And we should see a screen something like this. There are four reasons why we're going to try using RStudio Cloud in class this year. The first is that everything should work the same, exactly the same for everyone. And so we should avoid any installation issues or other complexities that result from differences between different people's computers. And those can be relatively easy to fix in person, but they can be more difficult to fix remotely. The second reason is that we've set things up so that the code you write in RStudio Cloud will be automatically shared with your instructors. And that will make it easier for us to help you figure out why things aren't working. It's the closest thing that we could come up with to the experience of looking over someone's shoulder in the classroom. The third reason is that we can avoid some of the complexities of R in the first few weeks uh, to focus on the core material that we're trying to learn and then introduce those complexities later. And the last reason is that RStudio Cloud will run on a broader variety of devices, including even on a tablet. So if all you've got at home is an iPad uh, or an Android tablet, you should still be able to participate fully in the course. The one downside to RStudio Cloud is that it requires a fairly stable internet connection. Uh, so for those of you with limited internet access, please check out the video on working with RStudio installed on your own computer. The good news is that RStudio Cloud creates a direct copy of RStudio. It's effectively identically the same, whether you're working online or on your own computer. Uh, and so everything you learn in RStudio Cloud will transfer directly to working locally. You won't notice any difference in the workspaces. All of the work for this class is going to be done in a shared class workspace. And to join this workspace, you'll follow the link provided in Canvas and sign in using your UF email address. And once you've done that, you'll have access to our class space. And you can get there by clicking on these three lines in the top left-hand corner of our Studio Cloud, and then selecting Data Carpentry instead of your workspace. So this is our class workspace. And you should see something like this. You can then select the appropriate week, and so these are, will be numbered by week. So this is week two, which we're starting. And if you haven't clicked on this yet, you'll see that it will say start next to it. And you can then click on this, and it will create a new RStudio project for you to work in. And part of what it's doing right now is it's creating a copy of all of the things that you'll need to complete the assignment. And so this will often include things like extra data files or maybe some packages installed uh, that you won't have to deal with will be all set up and ready to go. And this RStudio instance looks exactly like the one you would have if you were working on your own computer, except for this bar at the top, which tells you that you're in RStudio server and allows you to navigate those components of things and some subtle differences, uh, like the fact that this is an upload button uh, that allows you to upload files onto into the cloud yourself. So that's a brief introduction to RStudio Server. It's basically an online version of RStudio that works in exactly the same way and that we'll be using in class.